Hi, I'm Blair Castle, the author of Biblical Hebrew Made Easy. And in that system, you learned how to memorize, memorize large amounts of Hebrew in a short amount of time. What separated that book from all the other uh, grammars uh, on Hebrew vocabulary in the field was how to distinguish between homophones. How to distinguish between those words that sound exactly similar, like son and son in the English language, one is spelled with an O and one with a U. Obviously, two very different meanings. In Hebrew, you have Barak with final kaf and Barak with hate, two very separate meanings. One is to bless and one is to flee. In that book, I taught you how to inductively build your own mnemonics, so after 28 days, you'd be able to conquer any Hebrew uh, vocabulary word that you came across, homonym or not. Now, this book that I've developed, the Triad System, actually was intended to come first, but there were pieces of the puzzle that I was missing. I wanted to build a very strong mnemonic for men and some women that are studying Hebrew uh, that would teach them in the same way to learn the Hebrew grammar. But the difficulty I came upon was is that it took a great amount of formatting, to use a modern analogy, of your memory, or to structure your memory, that most students simply would not uh, want to invest the time in. Well, after several years of studying um, mnemonic texts, particularly in the art of memory, uh, dating back to the first BC and earlier, and also medieval memory works, uh, they proliferated then uh, for preachers, but also for laity as well. I've finally developed a system that is going to help you not only pass Hebrew, but excel in Hebrew and to enjoy it. You're going to learn the seven different stems, the pronominal suffixes for the verb, the preposition, uh, the imperfect. You're going to learn the demonstrative pronouns and the other parts of Hebrew speech. But you're not going to be using rote memory to memorize these things. You see, the reason why people fail at learning Biblical Hebrew is not because they don't have a high enough IQ or they're not intelligent enough. It's the fact that they don't have trained memories. Now, there are a few individuals uh, that pick up the language quickly. They're very gifted. That leads to rest of us like me. So, if you've attempted Hebrew before, Biblical Hebrew, particularly if you're in the seminary and you're trying to learn this language, this will help you. Don't give up on the language because of not having a trained memory. I can give you that. Not only that, you will pass Hebrew, you will excel at Hebrew, and you will enjoy learning Hebrew. Like I said, this system began in 2008 when I was studying Hebrew under the Reverend Dr. Walter Meyer III, whom I am indebted to for uh, really having a deep appreciation for the Hebrew language, as well as the Reverend Professor Jeffrey Pulse here at Concordia Theological Seminary. This system has taken difficult prefixes, suffixes, and infixes in the Hebrew language, in the Hebrew paradigm, and reduced them into easily rememberable symbols. Because one of the principles of ancient memory is, is that memory is visual. Letters are inherently abstract, particularly when they don't form a complete word, like a Hebrew suffix. Remember that, the Tav count. It's difficult to remember that, but if you assign a mnemonic device to that, it becomes easier. But you have to also develop a memory grid, a rigid format for your memory so that you can recall where these endings go. And I supply you with that. What's great about the triad system is this. One of the principles of ancient memory is, is that memory rejoices in brevity, in shortness. So what I have done, and I've never seen this anywhere, is I've developed a system that works perfectly for the Hebrew language. It's based upon triads. You're going to deal with the first person, the second person, and the third person. I, you, second person, he, she, it, third person. Well, the triad has three sides. So you're going to assign each side of these triads a meaning. And you're going to develop a system that's easily recallable, rememberable. You're not going to have to move through the paradigms by rote memory to get 
to say the first person, you'll know it instantly. Instead, if you memorize it by rote, you're going to have to go through the third masculine singular, third feminine singular, second masculine singular, second feminine singular. Oh, we have the first common singular for the verb, the perfect verb. You will simply move to the first and know it immediately. Guys, this book is available now. It's available as a PDF download. I would urge you, if you're learning Biblical Hebrew, if you've never taken a language before, and you are going to learn Biblical Hebrew, to check out this book. It is worth the investment. If you're going to put down thousands of dollars to learn Hebrew, only to fail it, not because of any fault of your own, but because you've never been taught how to memorize, how to learn properly, this book is well worth the small investment for you to do exceedingly well in Hebrew and delight in the language. I thank you for your time, and God bless.